In India, at the heart of the bustling city of Mumbai, is one of the largest slums in Asia, Dharavi. It is home to an estimated one million people, all squeezed into an area that covers less than a square mile. What makes matters worse for the people who live here is that their plight has become a tourist attraction. Scores of poverty-seeking foreigners flocked here after seeing the Academy Award-winning film Slum Dog Millionaire, which was set in Mumbai and made these garbage-strewn alleys famous. It's the kind of fame that many here don't want or understand. Many tour companies have been created to cash in on the phenomenon. But there are some who see this as an opportunity to help make life better here. The concept of, of a tour is, you know, we hire students from Dharavi, train them to be a guide and provide them part-time job so that the money they earn, that helps them in their education. And uh, at the same time, they get an exposure of the world because they meet different people from all over the globe. I decided to take uh, the tour in uh, the Dharavi slum because I want to see the different side of India than uh, the Polish side you see as a business traveler. Going in and meeting the people and smelling the smells and seeing the sights, is uh, a lot more powerful than just reading about it or seeing pictures. So I've seen many tourists who take uh, photos of kids. Mostly I've seen them taking photos of the skins, of the wires, of the roofs, and of the open drains as well. And in that, that time I was thinking that like the tourists, they come with negativity in their mind. Reality Tours puts a large portion of its profits back into the community. We've donated 80% of our tour profits to our sister NGO called Reality Gives, which runs and supports a variety of projects in the community. In addition to providing jobs and economic benefits for residents, these tours can help dispel negative stereotypes and expose the living conditions here. And we're trying to show, show the positive impact or a positive side of the slum with showing the reality. Not the negative side, but the reality, what the garbage is, why there's no proper sanitation, why there's no proper access to water. It looks from outside, you know, that it is bad or in, in bad structure. But when you go in, when you see the people, people are happy with their life. Happy does not mean that they are satisfied with their life. Happy is they do not blame and they like their content. They want to improve. So we show this, like this is an inspiring story.